dream of a sweet little girl gently rocked to sleep by the enchanting music of the grove. When the grove is alive with love and light, your very own dreams can also take
seat with an adult on the outside edges. Also, remember to keep all body parts inside the car at all times, and the use of tobacco products is not permitted during our trip. Thank and you. And away we go. Now that we're rolling, those of you on the last couple of cars, look to the middle of the depot and wave to our depot master, Zach, quick, because we are flying out of town tonight. We'll see you today at two, Zach. We get to most. Tell you what, I'll see you back tomorrow, 9 o'clock, when the park closes for the season. All right, folks, let's keep that tradition strong. Get those hands up and start waving to everybody here at the Village Crossing. On the count of three, let's give them a great day. Oh, happy, happy New Year. Ready? One, two, three. Happy Dollywood's old-fashioned drift mill. It's one of the only fully operational drift mills left in existence today, and it is home to the world-famous cinnamon bread. <laughs> Folks, be sure you stop by the drift mill, grab your two loaves of cinnamon bread, because if you get just one, it is not going to make it back to the car. Awesome. Flying, we're out of space because it's dark. Till that camera flashes, the answer is real bad. 
Hey, we're past the big, my favorite part of the property, folks. This is the financial district. If you look to the left side of the train, you'll see a bank. And if you look to the right side of the train, you'll see another bank. I like to tell folks we're just dirt poor around these parts. So I, I hate to ask this question, but I'm going to anyway. How was your 2020? Do you know how my 2020 was? This is how my 2020 was. I'm going to let Dolly tell it. Now we're to the next highlight of our journey. If you look to the left, you'll see another dark field. Now folks, I will tell you though, for those of you that are new here to the Dollywood Express, about two and a half years ago, this field you see on your left-hand side was a canyon that went down over a hundred feet. Now, if that doesn't show you that Dolly's willing to move mountains, I don't think anything will. Now, I know a couple of you guys asked me uh, earlier before we began our journey, what happened to the hog swampers cabin that used to sit here on the left? Well, folks, this land's been logged out, mined out, and farmed out for generations. So Mr. Hawk Swamper packed up his cap and put it on the back of his new Model, model T, and he drove out west so he said he could find him some more work. Either that or he was just going to go live somewhere out in Arizona, one of the two. Now folks, to tell you a little bit more about um, uh, Klondike Katie, she eats over five tons of coal, excuse me, four tons of coal, and drinks over 5,000 gallons of water. And she pulls anywhere from four to 6,000 people up this mountain. So as I like to say, she's like me. She ain't on the Jenny Craig diet. <laughs> now we're extremely proud of our engine crew because they operate Klondike Katie the same way she was operated. Thank you. I'm going to go back to talking about that. <laughs> 